All right, hey, welcome to the Hopcast. Uh, Ken is not with us, but I'm Brad Chmielewski, and I'm here with the Beer Gnome Project guys. I'm, uh, I'm Sean Horton. Mike Vandalander. Uh, thanks for joining me, guys. And Definitely. well, we're at Surly. So we are here for, for Darkness, Darkness Day 09 and uh, third annual Darkness release. Kind of my first time here. Brad and uh, the gang was here last year. Second year. Uh, I'm first a time veteran. Here. Yeah. <laughs> but we're like an hour away from gates being opened up and darkness being served. And uh, it's, so it's pretty feeling much good. Limited release beer. <laughs> Very excited Buy about it. Tickets. So, uh, those of you that haven't heard of Darkness, Russian Imperial Stout, kind of one of the most fabled beers in recent history, at least in the Midwest. They've got Dark Dark Lord. Dark Lord out of Three Floyds. And, you uh, might have saw Ken and I there. And Darkness Day. So, uh, Darkness is Surly's Russian Imperial Stout. Very, very good. Um, it's, and, it lives up to the hype. It's very good. And they're not they're in Brooklyn Cent- Center. Yeah. Is, we're, we're here actually here in Ducharme Drive in Brooklyn Center, like, Minnesota. Okay. Out of the armpit of the Twin Cities, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we're live on the premise, and they've got some some great beers coming out of this small little factory right here. So, well, I can't I can't wait to try it and get some bottles, and I'm excited. Yeah. So stay tuned. You? Yeah. So we're gonna continue to drink and talk <laughs> to some people, and we'll be back. Still waiting in line here. And I'm here with uh, Mitchell, Mitchell right? <laughs> and Andy. Uh-huh. <laughs> and Andy. Ah, yeah, we're all here. We're all right. here. We've been waiting in line uh, right now, drinking some Flywheel and some Dynamo. Representing. Coffee minus the bender. Oh, coffee. Doing yeah. good. <laughs> Doing well. We're just we're just waiting for them to open the gates. We're waiting out for our wristbands. wristbands. Right, we're sharing beers, seeing what's on the table. Just we are. Check. It's a grand old time. If, I, if I'm right, we are the second group from the front, so number number two, number two in line. We're really the second people in line. We're doing if good. we do in, groups. In theory, yeah. <laughs> so the, let's. What should we do? Should we keep drinking and see what else they have? Well, There's been some highlights. There was the KBS and the concentration. Russian people River, sh- yeah, consecration. Yeah. Yeah. My yeah. God, some, some beautiful yeah. on the table. A bunch of beer nerds throwing down their best stuff. It's been a good time. Some, Lots of tasty nice, drinking. <laughs> some nice free coffee bender. That oh, was yeah, pretty nice, too. Oh, yeah, they threw down two kegs of coffee bender right in front of us. Uh, I think we killed one keg by right. ourselves. We might have put the other keg in our car. <laughs> <laughs> maybe a dead guy there, too? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. <laughs> you may that's never a, that's know. A, that's a whole other episode. But let's see, what, let's see what else is out there and keep drinking and enjoy Darkness Day. Uh, Darkness Day 2009 and uh, hanging out drinking some beers and um, hey, Omar, talking. Uh, what are doing? Brewer, owner, and it was nice People to People are uh, paying attention. Just walking to this <laughs> interview. <laughs> <It's a podcast>. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, you're well. Thanks for coming out. Wait, how when did you guys get here? Six a.m. Uh, Six a.m. Nice. Well, thanks for braving the cold and uh, hanging out here and being willing to get beer. You guys have a really big beer. I oh, love it. Love it. Yeah. Thank you for serving up. Well, you know, I always said this. With, uh, I always said this uh, with Todd Hogg, our head brewer, when we started. Uh, we said, "Well, we're going to brew some beers that we like. We really hope other people like them. Because if not, we're fucked." Okay, can I say that on this podcast? Okay, oh, we're fucked. So, um, luckily, people were received it. Uh, Take the beer. The first year Todd brewed Darkness in 2006. I remember saying, dude, how am I going to sell 24 kegs of a Russian Imperial Stout in this town? And now, you know, there's like 1,500 people here looking to buy the beer. So, um, luckily, uh, you know, that will issue up. I hope people like the beer. Uh, it seems to have worked out all right. How do you think this year? I think this year's definitely a little bit drier. Last year's darkness was a bit sweet. Um, and, you know, it's, it's um, sort of the, the variants we get from batch to batch to batch. There's just there's a lot of variants from year to year, especially on a beer that is that difficult to brew. It's that big of a beer. It's one of those things, you know, it's like your tax. You do it once a year, so you kind of forget a lot of, well, you like the beer like Furious, we brew two or three times a week. We brew Bender every week. We brew Cynic every week. 
week or every other week. I mean, that stuff's dialed in. They, all the brewers know exactly where the numbers should be. If they're off a little bit, they know what to do. With the beer like darkness, it's so big. You brew it once a year. There's so many things going on while brewing that. that yeah, it does vary from year to year. And I think this year is actually probably one of the close, I would say most close to what Todd, um, Todd was shooting for as far as brewing. And hopefully as we you know, in the future try and brew more and more of it. And um, literally to make more, we've got to just brew the beer more often. We're able to kind of dial it in exactly. Do you necessarily try to make a new recipe every year? It's just like intense. You know, I mean, we do tweak things from year to year. Um, and you, like I said, with the beer like Fury you brew it every week. You know, that, you know, you dial in exactly where you want it to be. But the beer that goes from year to year, you know, I don't think a lot of people realize that. It's, you brew a beer once a year, it can be a little different because that's just the nature of dealing. You know, you're working with organic products. You know, we've got like styles to get the rest of the different regions and styles. What is Minnesota's trademark style of beer for you? Minnesota's, uh, Minnesota style? Well, I mean, you know, um, Shells has their style, someone's got theirs, we have ours, and of course a lot of the group clubs that we've got have theirs, so, um, I don't know if Minnesota has enough breweries to kind of have that, you know, signature style, like, you say West Coast, it's like, oh, it's really fucking hoppy, um, you know, um, style of beers, because that's where they grow all, so, I mean, as far as, like, here, I don't know if you have enough beer culture to say, oh, it's Minnesota. West style, and I think that's something we're trying to work on. I mean, it's you know, only the what, second brewery in the Twin Cities that started in the brewery in Minnesota. You got a ways to go. You know, Portland's got like 36 breweries, Minnesota's got six. So, you know, we're still working. I, I think that that culture is still developing, and that's one of the reasons we're having this here today. You know, we can no longer sell the beer direct. We've got center selling the beer to folks. So, there is really no reason to have this event here. We can't sell the beer. We're selling it to someone else than selling it to you guys. But to me, the, one of the big parts of this day is to kind of have this beer culture going that sort of promotes good beer drinking and people trading beer and talking about beer. And that's what a lot of us need. So, I think that's something that's really still a work in progress. We just edit out that long talk. Uh, Selkie, who made all darkness stay happen, which is great because she was dying like about three days ago. She was almost dead. I'm, a, I'm alive. She, had the, she lived through it. She had the guinea and uh, she was down for the count. But she made it. She's, she's back. I'm back. She's back. Back from Minnesota. Commendable. Right. <laughs> Not gonna lie, it was a long drive. <laughs> I didn't want to leave Ken out of the episode, so. Well, I'm here to enjoy the fruits of your labor. I brought back some bottles. And so, uh, big thanks to Brad and the whole crew that, that drove up there. Sorry I couldn't make it. Would have loved to have been there. Right. Maybe next year. Yep. Get the whole Hopcast crew up there. Yep. <laughs> Maybe we'll take the Hopcast jet next time. Oh, yeah. The boat's just not going to cut it. <laughs> <laughs> and so we got... Oh nine darkness here. There we go. I'm really digging the label here. Mummies. I hear mummies are the 2010. Zombies are gone. Mummies are in. I didn't. I didn't even know. Uh, but let's let's go ahead and pour it out. Okay. Start cool. Start tasting. Certainly, baby. All right. So I made it up there and haven't even tried any yet. Brought it all the way back. Couldn't open any bottles in the car, legally. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a good I, thing I wasn't there. I'm, I'm excited. <laughs> okay. And pour it out dark. Well, yeah. I don't know. Pour it out darkness. Darkness. <laughs> um, not, not too much head. Uh, as you would expect, this one's coming in upwards uh, a little over 10, we're thinking. Right. At least, at least 10.3, maybe 11 this mm -hmm. year. So. The aroma is... Tons of coffee. Much more formidable than I remember from last year. Right. Omar it's, said that this year's was a little drier and mm -hmm. just a little more well-rounded than last year's. So. 
It certainly smells dry. I, I, I don't know if they, it smells kind of oaty to me. I don't know if they use oatmeal in it or not, but. It may have a little raspberry. I, I get that too, yeah. Uh, yeah cheers to that. All right. <laughs> Let's do well, it. Without further ado. Oh wow, the coffee is huge. Bitch awesome. And I, I, I do pick up a lot on, on that, uh, like that raspberry chocolate coffee type of thing. Mm -hmm. Where it's uh, a little kind of candy-ish, but it's, it is very dry. But it, it kind of finishes a little sweet, like it's dry up front and then it certainly kind goes, of mellows out. It goes through sweet. a lot of different phases. Yeah. I, I think we almost need to like, warm it up a little bit. <laughs> Put on the stove. It's not, it's not terribly cold, but it, it you know, I, I could certainly see drinking this room temperature, no problem. This is great, and if you saw last year's episode, we reviewed it with Don and Mitchell, and I, bu I love the darkness. I, yeah. I, I, I personally like the darkness a little more than the Dark Lord. All right. Well, I'm I'm on the Dark Lord side of things, mm -hmm. so we'll fight out later. Fight. <laughs> <laughs> I challenge you to a I think this has jelly match. A little more coffee and a little less sweet than the Dark Lord, especially this past this Dark year. Lord. It was just a little too sweet. Yeah. Um. It's this one. If if we're comparing comparing uh, Dark Lord to Darkness, uh, less viscous, I think than the Dark Lord, and certainly drier. So depending on what kind of Russian Imperial style you're after, I mean, you can't go wrong with either one, no, but uh, yeah. I mean, they're both delicious. I mean, uh, I'm definitely on board with saying that this one is better than the 09. The yes. uh, 08 Darkness. Oh, 08? Or it's a... This is the 09 Darkness. Yeah. Oh, the 08. The 08, <laughs> Wrong the, the 08 Darkness. Okay, see, like, okay. Yeah, well, better than last year's. Better than last year's. Yeah, that's all, that's all I'm saying. Cheers to that. <laughs> <laughs> so, and um, have I, we heard news about, I, I thought they were talking about doing growlers or something? Um, I think they're kind of having issues with what they can sell at the brewery. And They've so, come into some legal yeah, a hurdles to jump over. Talk to the so, lawyers. So. Yeah. Maybe we can loan them our Hopcast lawyers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like this is that this is really sweet but not sticky sweet. It has a little bit, but it's not like I feel like I need to rinse my mouth out. Like to me, it, it's sweet up front, but fl finishes dry, which is is great, especially in a beer this big and and this bold. So, and especially to that style, the Russian Imperial style. Yeah. So does it live up to the hype? I would absolutely say so. Yeah. So I'm glad that you drove all that way, and uh... <laughs> Cheers to me. Yeah. <laughs> Works out perfect for me. So. You even brought it to my house, I didn't even have to go to your house. No, place. damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I screwed up on this one. Uh, so yeah, cheers to Surly, another, another great one. Right. Always doing good stuff. If yeah. you see anything Surly, you know you're in for a treat. Absolutely, for sure. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed Darkness Day. Mm -hmm.